Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to join me on the stage of Intergeo. This is Zhen Zhong Su. I'm the CEO, co-founder of Fixed Position. Today, I'm so excited to announce our new product, Vision RTK, a precise positioning sensor with increased reliability and availability for the Atom's robust market. This is the agenda of today's talk. I would also like to welcome my colleagues, Livio Latanzio, the head of business development, and Lucas Meyer, the CTO and co-founder, to join. Let's start with introducing Fixed Position as a company. We were founded back in August 2017 by two ETH Pioneer Fellowship teams. We have in combined 10 plus years experience in both Genesis and computer vision technologies. After company foundation, we was immediately selected by European Space Agency into their business incubation center in Switzerland. In December 2019, we successfully closed our seed round led by top Silicon Valley VC Chu Ventures. In the same round, we welcomed Dani Arman, the co-founder of industrial leader Ublox, to join the company as chairman of the board. Along the journey of three years, we have already brought three products to the market. And today, we are announcing the fourth disruptive product. We have worked with so many great customers and partners and earned their trust. Among them, we would like to highlight the following. Robosense, the Swanjong Light Show Company, we provided hundreds of RTK products to them, and now these sensors are on board of Daojong doing beautiful light shows in the sky with precise positioning and reliability. Neolex, our earliest adapters from the Atom's deliver robot sector. We have done successful joint pilot and product demo together, and now we're working closely to integrate Vision RTK into their robot platform. Last but not least, Unique. By working with them, we learned the strong demand of a precise position from the commercial drone applications like surveying, mapping, and inspections. Now, I would like to share our vision and mission. We believe in the bright future of autonomous things. Drones, robots, vehicles, it's a matter of time that they're gonna operate by themselves and we human beings can focus on more interesting and important matters. Fixed Position would like to contribute to that future by providing the best positioning and navigation solution. With that long-term vision in mind, today we are focusing on a mission of simplifying autonomous navigation by increasing the reliability and expanding the availability of precise positioning. Why this? mission is of importance to the market. We learned from our customer that the challenges for precise positioning is still among the top pain point in this industry. You can get up to centimeter accurate accuracy from GPS-based technology by using RTK, but only in the open field. It doesn't work everywhere. So in the area on the bridge, the satellite signal are totally blocked. So you were not even able to do any positioning with a pure genus-based technology. The accuracy will also downgrade to hundreds of meters in city canyons where the buildings are blocking and reflecting the satellite signal. So camera-based visual navigation, you can get the relative positioning in a good ideal conditions, but it simply doesn't work in a rainy, foggy day or in the night. So all these challenges are affecting both the navigation and the mapping phases of most autonomous robot systems. With those challenging in mind, now I would like to invite my colleagues, Livio, to explain you why Fixed Position has the solution for you. Thank you very much, Zhen Zheng. I'm so excited to be here today to introduce you the Vision RTK sensor. You can see it here in my hand in comparison with a five francs coin. 
Actually, for those who are not familiar with a Swiss coin, this is a coin that is around three centimeters in diameter. It comes in a very sleek and elegant case, and there is so much technology included into such a compact and lightweight form factor. There is, in fact, a camera, two GNSS receivers, you can see the antenna connectors over here, and an inertial measurement unit with accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, and a barometer. It also comes as an OEM board for custom design without a case. So much technology and so much hardware, but actually the hardware is not enough to de deliver reliable positioning in challenging situations. And the beauty of the sensor actually lies in the core, the fusion engine. In the Vision RTK, the raw sensor inputs from the IMU, the satellite, and the camera are fused together by fixed position's unique sensor brain. The algorithm allows us to take advantage of the fact that the error sources of the single sensors are completely independent from each other. The result is a superior positioning output with higher accuracy, higher reliability, and extended availability in any outdoor situation. Let's dig now a little bit deeper into the technology and how this technology actually can be translated into a benefit for our customers. I already mentioned the main highlight of the sensor, which is the sensor fusion engine. This allows to maintain very high accuracy for positioning in all challenging situations like in between tall buildings or in campuses full of trees. The second highlight of the sensor is the dual antenna and dual receiver configuration. This allows to output a true heading data, which, is, which it means that it not only the sensor outputs a positioning signal, but also orientation, which is crucial for autonomous, autonomous robots applications. The sensor, uh, the sensor configuration also allows for increased resistance to uh, electromagnetic interference, and the redundancy of the receivers actually increases the safety and the uptime of the end customer devices. Last but not least, the sensor comes in a variety of connectivity options like USB, Wi-Fi, and the serial port, uh, and comes with a lot of drivers um, for seamless integration into very established uh, robot platform systems like PX4 Autopilot or ROS. I would like to walk you through now a few uh, real-world situations or scenarios. You can see in these slides, uh, in the top part, the different scenarios, and in the bottom, uh, some bars that are showing which technology dominates in the different situation in the sensor fusion engine. Let's start with the simplest one, the open area situation. In the open area situation, um, there is very good satellite reception because there is a direct line of sight between the device and the sky. So this means that um, since the satellite reception is so good, the real-time kinematics technology um, can dominate the sensor fusion engine uh, output. And um, the result is a very reliable positioning in this situation. Now, let's make it a little bit more complicated. And let's go in an urban canyon situation. This is practically a, a metropolitan area. Um, a city like can be Chicago or Shenzhen or Shanghai, where the satellite reception is not as good. And there are, for instance, bridges, the, the bridges that are shadowing the signal. And um, uh, the satellite technology struggles uh, with, with multiple reflections and other artifacts. In this case, the visual odometry is dominating the sensor fusion engine. And uh, it's practically coping with the struggles of the satellite technology. In the third case, we're finding ourselves in a situation of bad visibility, which is snow, strong sunlight, uh, rain, for instance, or fog, um, which means that the camera uh, is finding itself in a situation of a lack of features in the environment. 
Um, since vision, visual odometry uh, is struggling and cannot work alone, um, RTK and IMU are dominating in this case uh, in the sensor fusion engine. So in a nutshell, uh, no single individual technology can cope with all of these three situations because they have uh, obvious limits. But if you take the fixed position sensor fusion engine, um, you're going to be able to cope successfully with all of these three situations. But that's enough for today talking about theoretical scenarios. I would like to hand it over to Lucas uh, to talk about real-world performance from our sensor. Thank you, Olivia. Now I'm really glad to present your testing campaign we did to show the real performance of Vision RTK. Here we see a scenario of a use case of a delivery robot autonomously approaching a delivery ramp for loading and offloading. A delivery robot like we see on the right bottom here would approach such a scenario from the right over the street, then turn into the area in front of the loading ramp, do some maneuvering, and then ultimately drive up to the loading ramp, which is below a roof. So we see here we have two main scenarios. The first one is in front of the loading ramp with moderate GNSS reception, with some reflections on the right and on the left. The second one is up on the delivery ramp below the roof with very bad GNSS reception. Now let's have a look how Vision RTK performs in these two scenarios. Here in the first scenario, we see the robot in front of the delivery ramp. And on the left, on the plot, we, three, we see three trajectories. The first one in green is the ground truth we record with a total station. The second one in red is a trajectory of an RTK GNSS receiver. And the third one in blue is the trajectory of fixed position vision RTK. We see that these trajectories overlap very well. If you look at the metrics for vision RTK, we see that it has a root mean squared error of 3.5 centimeters which is a very good average error for this scenario. Over the whole trajectory, Vision Arctic has a maximum deviation of six centimeters. So overall, we can say Vision RTK and an RTK receiver are performing equally well in such an environment with two main advantages for Vision RTK. The first one is that Vision RTK has a much higher output rate. The second one is that Vision Arctic has not only the outputting position, but also three degrees of freedom attitude. But now let's have a look at the next use case. Here we see the delivery robot drove up this ramp and is now in the delivery area below the roof. On the left, we again see the plot with the three trajectories. And we see that as soon as the delivery robot enters the area below the roof, the GNSS receiver is not able to output any reasonable data anymore. Whereas Vision Arctic is still able to follow the trajectory very well. And over this really worst case scenario trajectory of 52 meters without the GNSS reception, Vision Arctic has a maximum deviation of 1.1 meter and the GNSS outage drift of 1.6%. But now let's also look at how this looks like on the sensor itself. Here we have a video sequence of the camera images, how they are recorded and processed in real time on the sensor. In blue, we see the landmarks that we track for visual navigation. On the right, we see the plot from before in an animated fashion. And green is again the ground truth trajectory. As soon as we start the video, we see in the beginning RTK and Vision RTK are performing equally well. But as soon as we are entering the area below the roof, the RTK receiver is not able to output any reasonable data anymore. Whereas Vision RTK is still helping the robot to operate on its job, driving up, stopping, delivering its cargo, turning around and driving down the ramp again. As we see, Vision RTK really helps such a robot to do its job in environments where usually much more expensive, heavier, and bulkier sensors would be needed. I really hope this made you curious about Vision RTK, and it would be great to talk to a lot of you here at Intergeo in the next days. 
Now give the work back to Chen Chung, which will give you a conclusion on our talk. Thank you, Lucas, for presenting the real-world performance of Vision RTK product to our audience. And now I would like to recap today's presentation. Fifth position is on a mission of simplifying autonomous navigation. We learned from the industry that top pain points are, first, integrity of positioning is insufficient in challenging areas. Second, high definition map is time consuming, costly, and sometimes even impossible, especially if your process is relying on consistent position tag to your mapping data. Last but not least, it's a large investment and long development cycles for you to have your advanced in-house solution, especially if you are SMEs and a startup. That's why fixed position are offering our, our off-the-shelf solution, the Vision RTK product. A compact modular combines RTK, IMU, and the visual autometry into the deep sensor fusion and output a reliable, precise positioning and pose. Everything you need for robot navigation. By using fixed position vision RTK sensor, your drones robot can be doing precise operation while it was simply not possible before. This means use the benefit of increasing your customers' uptime, shorten your sales cycles, and even enable new applications. So where we are with the product now? We had the first prototype back in March, and now after several iteration, intensive development, and internal testing, we are announcing the product today. Next year, the production starts, and we will be available for volume orders. Most important, fixed position commit ourselves as your long-term partners by providing more functions, features to this product that come in, in the next years. So in this way, we will continue to support your business growth. Are you interested in this product and want to try out by yourself? We have the evaluation kits here for you. It comes with fully fledged plug and play system. You have everything you need, the antenna, the sensor, pre mounted on top of suction cups mount. With this, you can easily do a handhold testing or put on top of a robot. By a Wi-Fi connection to a phone or laptop, you can do sensor configuration and visualizing the sensor output on top of a map in real time via our user-friendly web interface. Write to us, we're ready to take your order for the evaluation case. And for today's presentation, I would like to thank you for your attention and now I would give the opportunity for you to bring up your questions.